What is up, pizzas? Corey Vincent here, and this is a new episode of the Video Game Bang, Sacramento's number one geek and gaming podcast. Uh, also, we are sponsored by Oblivion Comics and Coffee. Come for the comics, stay for the coffee. Oh boy, there's some good comics out, and uh, you should if you're if you're in Sacramento and you're looking for a spot, you want to start reading comics. Well, now's the time. We're in the age of comic books. All these sh- movies coming out. We got San Diego Comic Con. They're dropping trailers, which we're going to talk about on the show this week. But uh, do yourself a favor. Oblivion Comics and Coffee. We have a drink named after us, too. Perfect for the summertime. The Video Game Bang Blast. And also uh, the San Francisco Shock Tale. Incredible drinks. Thank you to those guys. Also, the show is brought to you by Vast GG. Uh, they're great for marketing. Like, if you want to be a marketing person or market your podcast or, or your small business or stream, uh, they are the guys to go to. They are trailblazing a new industry, super reasonable, and uh, really good, really good, just intelligent people to work with. It's very refreshing. And Gamersubs GG. Get your bump with Gamersubs. Use that code word VGB to get a discount. Uh, so. What is up, everybody? We have a great show. It's Battle Royale Video Game Bang. So if you're looking in here, you see Webb is already here. A lot quieter than normal. He did, uh, you know, have seconds on the pizza, so I think he may be in a little hunger coma. But, uh, you know, let's get things started off here with our first competitor, Julian. What's going on, man? Hey, what's up? Julian, uh, you work... You're a big esports guy now. You you made it into the industry. Yep. Uh, video editor for NRG and the San Francisco Shock. Really enjoyed a lot. <laughs> there for like a year. <laughs> hey, the guys don't listen. Brett and Ant, they don't listen. So you can say whatever you want. You can badmouth it if you want. I, I, I'll hold it's really secrets. great. <laughs> uh, dude, so like, it's kind of an achievement. And you kind of just like... You know, like we're hyper pursuing esports, particularly, but it's like such a competitive thing. And like, how, how do you feel about it? Like, did you think you'd ever be in esports? And what, what, what's it like for you? Uh, no, I never really thought I would be. I remember like just growing up and like, you know, video games are just like fun type things. Um, my parents, they never really like put in my head that it could be like a career or anything. But uh, yeah, this job kind of just, uh, I was kind of in the right place at the right time, knew the right people. Uh, my friend Jason Rico, I went to school with him and he would do like one-off jobs for you guys every once in a while. And I guess he would recommend me when he wasn't available. And I guess it took like six months, but you guys finally called me and uh, liked what I did. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> offered me a job like it, the next day. <laughs> it's funny because Laura and, and Rico were like pushing you so hard. And there was like a couple opportunities to travel and Jason pushed your name, and I was like, oh, dude, I would love to, but I just don't know him, and I don't want to be stuck on the road with some stranger. Like, yeah. he seems cool and everything, and then, you know, a couple months later, I was like, what's the name of that dude? And <laughs> we had time to meet, and then, like... Your hands were tied. My hands were call. tied. Give me a call. And then, like, the <laughs> next day, it was like, yo, you want to go to Spain, bro? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, I think it was, like, the second day, you're like, hey, what are you doing uh July, whatever? <laughs> yeah, you want to go to Spain? All right. <laughs> And that was like my first time overseas too. That was pretty fun. Yeah, for both of us. Yeah, we got to experience that together. We almost got thrown out of an airport. Yeah, then the uh, the hotel wasn't that great. No, the hotel right, is terrible. Right by that uh, brothel. <laughs> I mean, I, was it? I mean, I can't confirm. I never went. And, uh, uh, I don't know. I did you? Uh, it's called what was it called? Like the Kiss Club or something? The Kiss Club. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> hey. Hey. What's up, Web? What's going on, David? How long have we been out? About three weeks. That was weird. <laughs> that was a weird ass dream. Yeah, yeah, chat was starting to get a little nervous, but he is alive, everybody. David Webb is back in the What's house. Going on, everybody? Here for the birthday. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, what, what do you remember? I won a vision quest <laughs> in the desert, and uh, I met a shaman. He he told me what my spirit animal was. Which was a naked morat. Don't what? don't get vision quests on Groupon. It's not, <laughs> it's not worth it. Uh, and then and then it's all black after that. All right. <laughs> Did I miss anything? You missed a lot. Okay. Yeah, Aaron's not on the show anymore. What? <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah, that's... Say, have you been inside a lot, Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> Ju- Julian replaced Aaron. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's been a, it's been a whole thing. Uh, this is weird. Yeah. How's uh how's life been, man? I don't know. I've been out. <laughs> I mean, you been playing any video games on your Vision Quest? Uh, no, no. It was a lot of uh, a lot of peyote and uh, naked morats. 
It was weird. All right. <laughs> Um, so today was the birthday party, which is why we're doing the Battle Royale. I should have yeah. explained the rules. If you guys listen to the show, like on the Christmas party, uh, anytime a little shindig happens over here, we invite the people to stay around and we'll do a round robin. So we split it like up into 10 minute segments and then a new person will come in and fill the chair. Then someone else will come in and we're just going to kind of shoot the shit. We're going to talk about life. We're going to talk about what's going on at San Diego Comic-Con. I don't know if you guys got to see the stream earlier, but Emma Skies and Ivy Doom Kitty took over, uh, the Alienware truck. Yeah. It was like they got in the back of a truck <laughs> <laughs> with some guys who said they were from some guys, Alienware. Some guy was wearing Alienware t-shirts from last year's <laughs> E3, painted their pickup and said, oh, yeah, ladies, we're, we're, we're Alienware. San Diego Comic-Con, you never <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah. Let's come, uh, come hang out in our pickup truck. Yeah, so they... <laughs> See, well, we weren't there to like protect, and they got abducted, but yeah. uh, luckily it was a good one. I haven't heard from them since. Since? Yeah. Wow, maybe it's someone has them... Maybe they're on a yeah, vision quest. Maybe they're on a vision quest now. Um, so we had the party. This year, I was two years in a row champion. I was tired of people saying that I was rigging things, so we chose a completely neutral game, Nidhogg. Mm. Uh, that was pretty fun. Was that your first time playing Nidhogg, Julian? Yep. You picked it up quick, dude. You made it to bracket. You made it out of pools into bracket. I almost had you. I would have knocked you out like what in the like, – not semifinals, but like right before that, I think. Like top eight or something. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, what was it, 3-2, right? 3-2. So what we're doing is, if you guys ever played Nidhogg, it's like this weird old-school pixel fighter fencing game. Mm -hmm. And you get – it's two buttons. And I wanted, like, people bring their wives to this thing. And I was tired of being like, all right, let's play some – let's play Overwatch, guys. Yeah. And, <laughs> and no one knows what they're doing. So we just chose Nidhogg, and we ran through. And it was, like, good competition. Like, yeah, it was. Your bracket was – I mean, your pools round was tough. Yeah. Like, you, you had – some stiff competition. The first and my first one, uh, I played on the on the PlayStation controller, and the the controls had gotten reversed. So the whole time I was trying to throw my sword, and I was just jumping with my sword in the air, <laughs> up and down. <laughs> I was like, "What the hell?" It wasn't until like round like two and a half that I realized oh, it's all reversed. So, but anyway, it was good. It was it, fun. It's a fun game. I was a little knocked back that it was. 15 bucks on PlayStation. It's really? I thought it was like five. <laughs> so, <laughs> Damn. Of course I do everything last minute. So when I was down, when I was getting the game ready, uh -huh. I was like, all right, told everyone we're playing Nidhogg. I'm going to get Nidhogg on the PlayStation. All right, $15. $15. <laughs> I, I've committed. I think I bought it for a, a pen, like a penny on Steam sale once okay. or something like yeah. that. So I, oh well, but it was fun. Yeah. That was well spent, dude. <laughs> yeah, fifteen dollars well spent yeah. for for a, an afternoon of laughed and memories for a lifetime. It got yeah. so intense. Like as the party went on, it just got more and more quiet because like the competition just kept on getting like more and more intense. There was the first time in like a long time where I was playing like a like against somebody like multiplayer, and I was actually like holding my breath. Like I was tense. Mm -hmm. Like me and Eddie were playing, and like it was close. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, it was cool. Like this thing had all the makings of a perfect esports event because, like, you and Eddie were in uh, oh, pools yeah. together. <laughs> yeah, and he won, right? Yeah, he ended up winning because we went to a tiebreaker. Yeah, yeah, and then you got the salty run back later in the bracket. Yeah, or, yeah, because you guys tied. Oh no, I I beat him the first time, and then he ended up winning against his other opponents, and then so we, then we came back. As for a tiebreaker for the bracket to see who was going to move on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there was comebacks. It was it was amazing. But uh, I ended up losing the the crown. Uh, That's a, it was a big day. <laughs> it was yeah. a big day, man. It was, <laughs> I was actually kind of sad. Like I was tryharding. Like, yeah. It was my like legacy. At what point did you realize that you may not be walking home or staying home with the trophy? <sighs> So in Nidhogg, basically, you know, you're standing neutral, you fence. If you get the kill, you have to try and run to the far opposite side of the stage to win. So there's like ju d a ducking and diving and rolling and stuff all yeah. plays a fact into the thing. So e there's the final screen, you yeah. know, when, the or when it turns orange. Oh, yeah, yeah. On game five, final screen when he had me the first yeah. time, I just known I'd never had a run back. All the way from final screen to win. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I was on the ropes, and he was so good that at, once he hit it the first time, I was like, I could still fight, but I think I lost. And yeah. sure enough, I'd get back a few stages, and then he'd keep pushing back. Yeah. But Jason Gisley, man, he, he like puts on 
he goes to the zone. He does. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. He was. He's always so friendly. But then him and Marcus were going like in the semifinals, and I, I said something to I like the first round was just getting started. I was like, "What color are you, Jay?" He didn't even look. Nothing. Yeah. No. Quiet. Yeah. He <laughs> was locked. Locked didn't, in. Didn't want to like lose that focus. So he is esports. He you is. guys work esports. He is esports. He's lived it. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty dope. But congratulations, Jason Gist. You get to have that. Little <laughs> The trophy. ultimate banger trophy. Ultimate banger trophy in his house. I really hope he puts it somewhere like nice. Oh, I'm sure it's gonna be on his coffee table. It should be on his mantle. That should be. It's, Do people it's have mantles anymore? I mean, well, you have a mantle. I have a mantle. Yeah. Uh, so San Diego Comic Con. Uh, why aren't you there, Julian? This seems like the perfect thing for you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> have you been to one? No, I haven't. I haven't been to. Well, I went to Fanime. I haven't really been to like that many cons or whatever. Uh. I've always wanted to go, but, you know, usually I'm, like, working, so, like, when I do go, like, I have to film something, so I can't really, like, experience fully, but, yeah. Someday I want to go, just, like, buy a ticket and not tell you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Webb, what about you? I mean, you've been there before, clearly. Why aren't we there? Uh, we slacked this year. Yeah. We, we, uh, I'm, I'm actually really bummed that we're not there. I want to go with, like, being able to go and do our own thing. Like uh, last last time we went, it was super fun. We went Nerd Reactor and it was cool. And uh, I got to meet uh, the cast from Archer, which was like, I was I almost don't want to go because I don't want to have to like try and top that. Yeah. But uh, what was it roundtable or what was it? Yeah, it was a roundtable and uh, seeing like I don't remember the I don't remember the guy's name that plays Archer, but Aisha Tyler and him, the two actors, like them sitting together, they are Lana and Archer, like. He, I don't know if he did this, like, I'm sure he did it for us, but he took a drink in, in the middle of her talking, and he just does this oh. as he took a drink, <laughs> and she wanted to smack him, <laughs> like, it was perfect. What did you think, like, was that your, like, longest, like, brush conversation? Because I, I, Alicia Tyler's, like, a big deal. Yeah. You know? Um, like, how was it just sitting at a table with her? Like, did you talk? And, no. Like, no, I didn't talk. Uh... I let the other people talk around me, and I just I just took notes, uh, just because. Why are you I, nervous? I was nervous. I don't know what to ask. Um, that wasn't as bad though as the other panel I was on uh, or roundtable I did. It was uh, oh crap. What was that name of the show? Oh, Grim. Yeah, Grim. It was like on NBC where it's like the guy that hunts like werewolves and like demons and stuff oh, like that. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah. So I was on the panel for that because nobody else wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> and I had it. I watched like maybe three episodes of the first season. And at the time they were on season like five or six. And so they were like, oh, like, you know, in season three, you guys really did this. So how is that going to play into the next season? And I had, I went the whole time just laying low. And then one guy. I don't remember who he was. I think he was like the police, like one of the detectives. I'm sitting there taking notes, and he calls me out. He goes, hey, "How come you're not saying anything?" And I go, "I'm just letting these guys oh. take it." <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, that's really nice of you." I go, "Yeah, I'm a nice guy," and I just kind of kept going. All right, Gando. Gando. We got a double dose of David's on the show right now. My David childhood squared. friend made me cry yesterday. Uh, Punched him in the gut. Yeah, he hit me really hard. <laughs> Uh, he hit me in the heart, actually. He hit me in the heart. So my wife did the thing. Man, I, I'm i getting soft as I'm getting old or something. or I don't know because uh, I've always thought like the video montage thing was cheesy. Like at work, we've had to do it for things. Like, yeah. oh, it's the one-year anniversary of uh, you know this thing. So let's get all the players to say you know something nice about that person yeah and usually it's like pulling teeth to get the video i've done these for work and i hate them because you got to coordinate all the stuff and get the videos that's nice to know and then when you put it out i mean (laughs) you made it look good dude (laughs) you did your best (laughs) 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 it wasn't your fault i forgot it all right (laughs) anyways it's backpedal yeah you gotta be careful what stories we tell here but you know like i don't know I, i i just I, I don't know. I, I don't get the emotion out of it. But one of the things my wife gave me was a little thumb drive that had, like, a, a video on it where she, like, reached out to – man, she dug deep. Like, she went into the archives of, like, friends that I haven't talked to in years and years and years and almost – like, some of which I had falling out with, you know? Like, yeah. it's yeah. like – you know, because we were kids, 15-year-old, you know, like, you kicked me out of the band, you know? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. And uh, I, David's was like – 
Where did you pull from, dude? Uh, I've been dating like an <laughs> emotionally like supportive lady for a while, so that helps. So she pulled it out of your something, man. But that was thank you, man. Of course, we've been I friends love you. for like most half my life. Yeah, I know it's crazy, right? Fucking thirty years old, guys. Yeah. <sighs> That's scary. So what else are we talking about? Uh, <laughs> I don't know where to go from there. Uh, <laughs> Julie, you know, look at each other uh, like, uh, uh, we're just going to fade into the chat. Yeah, that's, you guys. The rest of that's for the after hours, guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, but yeah, what were we talking about before something. that? Before I got distracted. Oh, oh yeah. It's Comic-Con, yeah. Yeah, no. So you're in there with the Archer people. Like, this is the, I don't know if it was similar for you, but like, uh, I can't remember who it was that really struck me, but it was on one of the panels I was in. Or round tables. So mm-hmm. these are like intimate settings, if you yeah. guys are wondering. Like, we were, Nerd Reactor was pretty baller. Like, yeah. They get you into a back room, you sit at like a table just like this, yeah. but it's filled with people you've seen on television. Yeah. And Hollywood people are just fucking sexy, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know why they're celebrities now. Yeah. Like, you can easily tell the press from the yeah. celebrities. Oh, yeah. Not just like trying to be impartial here. No, yeah. So I can imagine she's so beautiful, just sitting at a table with her is like meanwhile i'm like drenched in sweat because it was yeah. 100 degrees and like 400 humidity down there 400 humidities yeah 400 <laughs> humidities uh <laughs> science david <laughs> all right all right if you were from california you could be right I don't yeah know, i was i don't know what humidity it is. was it was horrible <laughs> but anyway yeah no it was uh well and like i'm not super good at interviews and I haven't done that many of them. So to be thrown in a situation to where not only am I interviewing celebrities, but celebrities of like one of my favorite shows, I'm like, oh, don't say something stupid. Don't say don't say anything at all, and you'll be fine. Okay, got this. Mine was regular show. Like oh for yeah. J G Kintel or whatever, dude. He was so funny, and everything he said, I giggled like a little schoolgirl. <laughs> like <laughs> I was fangirling like so yeah. hard in front of this dude. <laughs> Oh, man. But uh, they did some trailers. There's some big trailers. Uh, David, you were watching them, and I watched one right before the show. We'll start on that one. Uh, Titans. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Like, okay. That's the one I didn't watch, actually. That's the one you didn't watch? Yeah. It. I just saw the tagline, and I was in it, and it was, fuck Batman. Yeah. <laughs> you could clearly tell it wasn't, like, movie quality. Like, right. From the trailer. Something yeah. about it just looked television, but I guess this is for their own unique... Yeah, that's what I've heard. It's yeah, the, they're doing a subscription thing. Yeah, DC Universe. Yeah, it's like a. I, I think it's an all-encompassing subscription. I think not only uh, yeah. do you get like the TV shows, I'm sure they're going to have DC movies on there, but you're also mm-hmm. going to get access to like the comics. Yeah, they're definitely going to have the uh, animated movies that they do on DVD releases. I don't yeah. know about the feature like theatrical movies. That's true. I I bet you they'll probably have old ones. Maybe. And yeah. then and then eventually like be able to add more, but they're probably gonna have some of the older ones on. Yeah, that makes sense. Like the classic yeah. Superman. Classic Superman, yeah. I would even go as far back as like like Batman Begins, Dark Knight trilogy. Like That's that's not going back. What do you mean? It's that's, not super I mean it's not, like it's not new, but it's so older. It's pre Justice League Batman. That's so I'm saying Justice League is only like a couple of years old, man. And that's even a couple of years more. <laughs> when did Batman Begins come out? Like, ten like, years ago. Uh, a little over ten years. It's like oh, yeah, twelve yeah, or something. Yeah, Dark Knight was. Dark Knight years. is ten years yeah. this year. Yeah. Holy crap! So yeah, so there you go. So th- they uh, released a trailer for Titans. I am so I'm gonna I might need to get my you know Oblivion Comics and Coffee geek card removed from me because I really don't know about the Titans. What's what's the premise? I know very Titans? little. Do you know, David? Well. Of this show, I know nothing. I didn't watch the trailer. But just, just in, general, in general, Titans. Like, what's their deal? Are they Avengers for children, or that's how they? Uh, yeah, they're basically Justice League for kids. It's kind of like, like the Young Justice show was like all the sidekicks kind of came together and like formed their own squad. Okay, so I mean, I can't like geek out too much about who was in it because I just don't know the characters. But I know. I'm interested in watching it, which yeah. is a pretty new thing for. What's DC. their roster? So you have Robin. Uh, so the ones I know of, Beast Robin, Boy, Raven, Beast Boy, Raven, um, Starfire. Starfire. Are they gonna do Cyborg? Well, oh, they probably well, can't do Cyborg because he's not, in the movies. He's in Justice League. Yeah, he's he's got called up to the big leagues. Okay, but but traditionally, like in the cartoons and in the comics, 
Cyborg would have been yeah. with the Titans. And uh, Miss Martian is also sometimes is she, in. Is she Titan or is she Young Justice? I thought uh, she was Young Justice. She's been a Titan. Has she been a Titan too? Pretty sure, yeah. On the comics anyway, she's okay. definitely been in there. They really uh, laid it on thick that this is adult Titans. Like the blood squirting. Oh, I'm sure, Like yeah. even in these Marvel series, there's a lot of violence, but somehow never any blood. Yeah. Well, you know Luke Cage. He's uh, bulletproof. There's no blood. Well, yeah, that's that's the way it goes. <laughs> well, season one of uh, Daredevil. Oh, the king. Yeah, but yeah. there's like one scene, right? That's true. Like yeah. you could really think yeah. that's it's gruesome. They did limit it. Yeah, and yeah, and even then it was like dark setting. In this, it was just like daylight fights with just like, oh, I cut your calf and then blood just oh. all over the place. Like there's, <laughs> there's, there's blood everywhere. Yeah. In this thing, you know the picture of you know just a fight. His face is all covered with blood. Like so, this oh, is gonna be yeah. a very bloody television show. And someone says Batman, and Robin looks at the camera and goes, fuck Batman. Yeah. <laughs> so they're really going the bad boy route. I want to know which Robin it is. Do we know? Like, I oh, it's the, it's the carnival one. Oh. So. Uh, Grayson. Yeah, Dick. Okay. Wow. Okay. So they did. Could... That was the kind of the cheesy part. Like, he gets into a cab, and I think it must have been Raven. Is she the one with, like, pink hair? Pink hair? No, it's Starfire. Starfire, then. Yeah. So she's in the car and she's like, "Oh, you're the acrobat boy," or something. Uh-huh. And they show like uh, the cheesiest scene, like in a movie. You know, it's like, oh, uh, they're flying yeah. back in their fingers. They do that little slow mo yeah. thing. Yeah, and he's going whoa on a green screen. Yeah, yeah. It was one of those. It's one of those. When uh, I saw that, that's how I was like, okay, this isn't a movie. That's not a movie because <laughs> <laughs> the quality would be a little bit higher on this otherwise. Yeah, he's sitting on a stool, clearly, just with his legs up. You know, it's, it was pretty bad, but. Uh, yeah, they did make a big thing. I definitely watch it, guys. It it, it interests me. Um, yeah, I'm intrigued. I think they're, I, it must have been their panels or something because all of them are. So what, did you see the Shazam one? I did see the Shazam one. Yep, I watched that. Okay, well, Common Ground. What do you guys think? Me. Yeah. What? Me. Yeah. Me? I mean, I didn't get a lot from the trailer, so me. I think for a superhero movie, eh. But just for like a, it just looks funny to me. It like looks it's just, funny. I think they did the character right because yeah. he's like a eight year old kid or whatever he is. So he's yeah. supposed to be like no idea what the heck's going on. He's not taking it very serious. I think the casting makes so much more sense. The, even the, you know how they're making a big deal of them patting his suit oh, so much. Oh yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I'm okay with it now yeah. after I see how tongue in cheek. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Hundred percent. I was surprised that uh, they got that guy to play the wizard. Uh, I don't know his name. The guy from Gladiator. Uh oh. Uh, this is all you, Julian. Uh, uh, Blood Diamond. I I can name movies he's in, but I have no idea what his name is. Can I remember his name right? The Jordan Rock. Bo- no wait. No. Jean Claude Van Damme. Okay, never mind. Anyway, uh, it's not Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. He was in Gladiator. Like who? I, I'm not sure. The uh, the, wi- the, the African American guy. Oh, oh. His his friend that he was chained to. Yeah, yeah. No, I. I I can't remember his name. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it makes way more sense because I thought, you know, he's such a comic actor too, but how he's playing like that youthful, like, oh, cool, I just got power, superpowers, gee whiz type of, type of thing. Yeah. I, I like, like the part where they're like trying to figure out what powers he does have. Oh, versus what he doesn't. Yeah. yeah. And then they just kind of randomly find out he's bulletproof, which is uh, very lucky, guys. Yeah. yeah. Very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, again, like, this is much better and a, a more positive feeling than I have pretty much any DC trailers yeah. since Dark Knight. Yeah. Like, I went from zero interest to now that's two that I'm fairly interested in. Remember we talked about a while ago when you saw set photos of Titans and we saw, like, we talked about how horrible it looked and we are like, not, like, anticipating any good things. And you actually see the trailer and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, this... Can it it's be okay. that they've learned? I, I don't want to say that because that's going to jinx it. Because then Wonder Woman 2 is going to be horrible. And oh. it's going to be our fault. David, what do you think? <laughs> Are they fight- Have they turned a corner here? I. It's too early to say. Well, they're still, they still got to figure it's out too their, early to call it. their Batman stuff. Because they got two Joker movies like on oh. deck at the same time. Okay, so then that just takes away all credibility that they just earned. You think so? What if yeah. one's good and one's terrible? Uh, then they cancel each other out and we're back to zero. Yeah. <laughs> Math. Because. <laughs> I should have known what asking an engineer. What? That. Why would you have two Joker movies coming out? Two different people playing it. Two different stories. 
And you're still gonna like what movie studio does that? Uh Marvel, Quicksilver. Wait, did they? <laughs> no, that doesn't count because that's Fox. It wasn't Marvel Studios. It was twenty first century Fox, Marvel Studios. I'm counting it. What did they do? Why am I missing that? They did the like Quicksilver so, was an yeah, X Men, Quicks- and then he was also an Avenger. Oh yeah, yeah. but I, I I won't count that because it's not because he roots for Marvel too hard. False. It's not Marvel uh. Studios. If Marvel Studios came out and did that, then I'd be like, yeah. But 21st Century Fox, that's on there. Yeah. Okay. All right, we got our next competitor jumping into the battle royale. All right, Julian, thank you so much for hanging out, man. Yeah, no problem. Great you being did, here. You were a competitive. You were a beast in that <laughs> tournament. Yeah, I was worried. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, dude. Thanks, man. <laughs> Joining on the fray is our uh, local music expert. So this would be the time to get any musical questions. We're going to quiz him on uh, the score of all these trailers. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the music behind the trailer Shazam? I haven't seen the trailer for Shazam yet. Damn. How did I'm you, gonna guess generic. How okay. did you, <laughs> how did you fare in the tournament, Derek? Uh not well today. <laughs> Was it just not your game? What's up? Well the first time I played the controls were the buttons weren't as close together, so I screwed up frequently. And then the uh the next one I did pretty well was against you, but you beat me. Yeah. I gave you a run for your money, but you still oh, beat yeah. me, so that's all that matters. That was a close match. I, I lo- all my matches were super close. Like, I don't know. I, I just I just rise to the level of whoever I'm playing or something. Like, it was, it was I don't know. Like a Saiyan. Like a Saiyan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the last trailer that came about uh, that, uh, you know, was noteworthy was the Aquaman trailer. Aquaman trailer, yeah. Wait, I you're not gonna you're it. not even gonna mention Godzilla? No. <laughs> what? He said noteworthy. Noteworthy. Dang. Well did I okay. okay never mind. Was it good? I I just didn't see it. Uh I liked it. Yeah. What they, they, what, they, is it another remake or is it another sequel? It's a sequel to the one where he attacked San Francisco. Oh, the most recent one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're gonna it looks like they're gonna introduce a oh, lot of monsters. Wait, that's right, because they're introducing more kaiju, huh? Yeah. They introduced uh there were at least three others besides Godzilla in the trailer. That's right. Really? Yeah. All right. And is this the one that they introduced is going to supposedly cross over with the uh, Kong? Uh, yes. Um, it definitely oh, drew, drew ties back to Kong. Yeah. Okay. Um, but we can talk about Aquaman first if you, whatever you want to because you said apparently that's the one that's more important. Well, I mean, now you've got me. Now you've <laughs> got my attention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you've got me hooked. What They're going for their Avengers. Yeah. Um, so you want to know which monsters they introduced? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there was a scene of Mothra. Um, there were a bunch of scenes of Rodan. And then uh, King Ghidorah is look like he's going to be the big bad guy. So is Brian Cranston in the movie? Uh, or are we getting Matthew Broderick back? Like, what has happened? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and the worms. I'm so confused. Uh, we got the girl from Stranger Things. Which mm-hmm. one? Eleven. Eleven. Right. Yep. Oh snap. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then game over, monsters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, just a scared little girl with no superpowers this time. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well. Never <laughs> it looks like she befriends Mothra. <laughs> of course she is. So uh, I think she'll be our heroine. All right. Um, I don't know. There were a bunch of other faces, but it's hard to tell like who's going to be the main character. Hmm. All right. I. It doesn't really tickle my fancy too much. I don't know. I'm excited. I'll, I'll go see Kong versus Godzilla when that comes out. But I think beyond that, I'll leave it up to you guys. <laughs> All right. I'll go watch this one then. <laughs> Take one for the team. Uh, Aquaman trailer came out. It's way different than I expected. Like In a good way? In, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Momoa's a likable dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So I think he's just playing... Momoa man probably who happens to have Smart. Aquaman's abilities or something yeah. because he doesn't strike me as any of the iterations I've ever seen of that character yeah which I, I don't know I but again <laughs> this is how bad I am at the DC stuff I didn't watch Justice League so what how did he do in that I watched part of it and I fell asleep through some of it oh, wow. um okay but it, he the parts I was awake for he was good I think he was probably one of the highlights of the movie um yeah, I liked him. Gando? Uh, he did well. He did not have very many scenes. Which 
the fact that I thought he was one of the highlights of the movie just shows how poor the movie yeah. was overall. Yeah, <laughs> no, he really he did not have a lot a lot of screen time, um, but I think that they did play his scenes pretty well. Like he was a real badass. Yeah. And then uh, he got kind of stomped on by Superman, like everyone else did. So uh, that was the end of that. Are they, is this then a prequel? I don't know. That was my question. Because there's going to be a lot of flashbacks because there were a lot of scenes of him as a kid. Yeah. Um, and in Justice League, it looked like he wasn't king. So I'd say that it's probably continuous. I think... Okay, so logically, I would say it's probably not a sequel or a prequel. I'd say that's probably like continuing his story. Um, and I think I read something along the lines of it's going to involve him going back to Atlantis and reclaiming the throne. Um, well, did you, you remember, watch the trailer? Because they, they explicitly said that. I didn't watch the trailer. Okay. I watched it. They, they explicitly uh, said that. What did the they trailer? say? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, they, yeah. <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> they said that he's reclaiming the throne. Yeah, they said yeah. that his, uh, oh, yeah. his half-brother okay. is currently the king, and he's about to declare war on the surface world. So Aquaman needs to step in and like become king so that that doesn't happen. Does he need to unite the seven kingdoms of Atlantis? Uh, no, he just needs to like they bring peace the between sequel, the two bro. worlds. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, so so I say that because uh, I read an article that was talking about how uh, one theory is that because there's several there's seven kingdoms of Atlantis, and that if you remember way far back before even Justice League, they had a poster of Aquaman and it said unite the seven was the tagline mm-hmm. and then just Lee came out and there's only what five or six of them so I was like okay well that's not what it was so then the theory was that in the Aquaman movie is finally coming to fruition that he was going to be uniting the seven kingdoms and then get his get the throne back to fight whatever the big bad was okay Derek have you been following around all these comic book movies and stuff I mean, you got stuff going on but are you are you up to date on all this you know the 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 biggest thing for me is the DC movies. I just, I haven't followed as much. I actually, I actually don't mind Batfleck. Really? Yeah. I thought he did a good job. I thought he did a good, grizzled, older, pissed off Batman. Um, Batman with guns. Right. But the, the <laughs> movies for me have just been terrible. I feel like they rushed into the Justice League movie. They should have spent more time setting stuff up. I think they're just rushing to get all their characters on screen as fast as possible. So it, I haven't seen Justice League yet. That one I still want to see. Um, saw Man of Steel. Saw Batman v Superman. Was okay. You got uh, kids and stuff. Like from a kid's perspective, they don't give a shit who's playing Batman, you know. But are they like into? Do they lean towards one brand or the other, or how, how does it work with kids? Like that's what I'm curious about. This generation, our generation's. Yeah picking the shit out of everything oh yeah yeah. but for kids who don't know or care like what are they what do you think their perception is going to be they haven't seen many of like the newer movies but they have i mean they've seen avengers and stuff like that plus marvel's got a crossover with you know like phineas and ferb so they've seen that but uh the the newer ones yeah they they're they're not too much into that and especially the dc stuff because i'm not into it so i don't watch it a lot so they're not really into it Mm. yeah but the marvel stuff is goes around my house a little bit it's good to know that Femi and Phineas and Ferb are in the same universe oh yeah as yeah as Thanos when he snapped oh yeah <laughs> so Phineas is still Maybe. there but Ferb is not the <laughs> show <laughs> got really dark <laughs> which is the quiet one <laughs> he's, Ferb Ferb yeah so Ferb's still there <laughs> oh that's dangerous though because he's the inventor he's yeah. gonna build something to really take out Thanos <laughs> that's who he's the hero's back. gonna be in the next yep. Infinity War <laughs> out of nowhere this animated character comes out with like a giant laser gun and yeah. just destroys him. This is a word. Mm-hmm. I was worried about like in this Aquaman thing. Like, I, it worried me in the Justice League, which I didn't see. But how like <laughs> every time they showed him was like hot dog. Oh yeah. Or you know, mm-hmm. then they cut to him again. And he's like, my man. My like, man. I thought he was just gonna have like random catchphrases, like action action figure catchphrases. <laughs> yeah, it was gonna be all of his dialogue. And, With uh, karate chopping action. Yeah. I was just <laughs> you pat him on the back. Hot damn. Hot damn. <laughs> but in this one, like. He's just Momoa man. Like, yeah. He's kind of like Captain Ron. Did you ever see that movie back uh-uh. in the nineties? About that like pirate guy who's just cool. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> seen this movie. I think that was the inspiration. It had to have been for this okay. guy. Like, go back and watch Captain Ron, and this is Captain Ron, King of Atlantis. King of Atlantis. <laughs> 
Um, but on the trailers, there is a little bit of uh, controversy going on in, in Marvel land. Oh. Things are all coming up DC, and Marvel is just getting the, the shit end of the stick because uh, James Gunn exits Guardians of the Galaxy 3 after offensive tweets have resurfaced from the internet. Yeah. So the only person who really loses is us. Yep. Yeah. Like, it sucks to be us. Yeah. I love the Guardians, and I thought the – by far, I don't, I don't. I'm stupid when it comes to movies, man. So I, I just know that he made the best ones. Yeah. So now that he's gone, it may not be the best anymore. Right. But well, you may think different. What, what, what's the situation? What do you know of the story? So, well, from what I've read, uh, basically what happened is he tweeted out some. Um, we actually read the tweets right before. Oh yeah. They are they are pretty bad. They're but really bad, dude. Granted, they were ten years ago. He apologized for it. He made he made right by him, and then it's been it's been ten years. And somebody uh, from our read it was a like an alt right uh, internet and conspiracy theorist mm-hmm. dug these up mm-hmm. and uh, screenshot them, tweeted them out, and Disney kind of got pinned into a corner. And they're like, okay, well we can't defend him. We have to let him go. Everyone's that... torches and pitchforks anymore. Right. So like they had to. They I think they felt they had to respond instantly. Yeah, exactly. Because otherwise Disney would just start crashing. Mm-hmm. Especially if you think about the fact Disney's in the middle of trying to acquire 21st Century Fox. Mm-hmm. They don't need bad publicity. They don't need controversy. So yeah. Um, but it's not like people are pissed. I mean, they should be. They like, should be. Okay. The internet yeah. is a scary place because like and this is a reminder for everybody out there like mm-hmm. what you put out there on your social media is permanent like, yeah it's that's yeah. Shit's not going to go away even if you delete it you have like the Wayback machine that can look at caches in the yeah. internet from years ago yeah so they never go away and yeah, like i've tough. been i've been on the bad end of it like with shock stuff yeah i'll put out a tweet and i'll put like the the csgo guys you know you make a casual mistake right. mm-hmm. and then you put it out immediately catch it like as oh, it's yeah. sending and then delete it Put it, post it the right way. First comment, a screenshot. Ha ha! Yeah. Look what I caught. I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> Fire your social media guy. Like, yeah. It's so bad, and that's the world right now. Yeah. So it's... James, and, and that's the thing. His tweets were they were indefensible, reprehensible. They were disgusting. Like they were not even bad. funny. Like they weren't even funny when, jokes. When I heard, yeah, when it said like, oh, they were jokes. It's like, no, these weren't jokes. Like, no. That was just vulgar words all strung together. Like. Yeah. It was dark. But he apologized. I mean, it's been 10 years. Like, I mean, he was... Guardians of the Galaxy wasn't even a thing 10 years ago. Like, this... I don't know. Not defending the guy, but should he be punished for something that he already made right and he already apologized for and he already has, you know, changed? Do you still punish him for it? I... I I can't see it. Uh, In today's world, yes. Yes, you do. Yes, yeah. As quickly as possible. The answer is clearly yes from my yeah. experience. So. Do you think that this can be turned around Like with all the outrage going towards firing him? Do you think if there, there are petitions already out there, yeah. uh, Dave Batista, Dave Batista's, yeah. pa- Pat Oswald, mm-hmm. like other big time people are coming out and defending him. Do you think if we all like ride and crash social media with hashtag save James Gunn, well, we could turn it around? I don't know. I hope not. What? I want Disney to stand by their decisions. If they decided to do something, then stick to it. But what if it's wrong? Well, I hope that they thought it through before they just did it. They clearly I mean, didn't, you, though. What do you mean they clearly didn't? There's no way that they thought this through. How does it? Re- how is it fair to punish a dude for something he did 10 years ago? I mean, do you have any evidence that he's not like that anymore? I haven't read any of the tweets. I don't well, actually know th- what's there- going on. Yeah, he doesn't post anything like that anymore. He's that, supposed yeah, anything, okay, that, and, and, and but that's and what they're going. Have other people, of, so. other people coming forward. And, and on saying, that note, like, uh, I know goodbye, the guy. guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, nope, can't do it. Just as the whole room turned on him. <laughs> that's, a, that's the worst way to exit. Wow. He was just playing devil's advocate. <laughs> <laughs> Look in there. <laughs> <laughs> I heard y'all was talking about that trash Titans trailer, bro. What's good? Wait, <laughs> trash? That trash went on me. It was trash? Bro, it was trash. Explain to me how that was trash. Bro, it was trash. You notice how they had to use smoke in every shot? 
<laughs> behind that set. <laughs> well, okay. Technically, I, like we okay. You so the you guys got to hear what we were saying. And production quality, admittedly, was cheesy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he said, "Fuck Batman." Yeah, with something which Dick Grayson would never do. That okay. So so that's what I was going for. Is when I was wondering which Batman it was. Dick yeah. Grayson does not seem like he would. Mm -hmm. If it was Jason Todd, Jason Todd would absolutely do that. Then I'd say, okay, that makes a hundred percent sense. Yeah. I would even say Damian Wayne would say that. Da yeah, Early Damian yeah, yeah, Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like he would be the next closest to say something. Right, Jason Todd, yeah. Damian Wayne. Yeah, but the dude that like took you in after your parents died and gave you a home and like he was a billionaire and like you never skipped a meal and all that stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Are you just gonna say F Batman? Yeah. Come on, bro. Well, there had to have been a situation. Maybe that's the password to get into his. Yeah, that's, that's, the, password. that's the situation. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how you get into the Robin cave. Yeah, Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> yeah, man. They let James Gunn go, huh? Yeah, <laughs> man. So now, yeah. So one controversial topic to the other. They let him go. I think it's pretty unanimous, other than David, other David. Yeah. About. But even he didn't say it was right. He just wants Disney to stand by his decision. But he just wants to see the world burn. What do you think, Curtis? Did you see the tweets? <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw some of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, not, they're bad, dude. Yeah, no, no. They're, they're, they're real bad. Um, but again, like my whole thing is, like he absolutely said that. Yeah. Like you got to own up to it. You wrote, then nobody, you, you had Twitter fingers. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh -huh. like, wh where's the space for like a conversation? Like, hey, do you, w is this something that you would do today? No, it's not nothing I would do today. Okay. Um, you, you, those were really bad jokes. Yeah. You understand that, right? Yeah, I understand that. You know, and that matter of fact, I'm James Gunn. As a good gesture, let me make some donations. Yeah. To this, this fund, that fund, this foundation, just to let everybody know, I am the opposite of what I was at that time. Right. Pe people grow. Yeah. Otherwise, mm -hmm. none of us would mature. We would mm -hmm. all stay the, the dumb idiots that we were when we were 11 and 12 years old. God forbid yeah. we see anything from when we were 17. Oh, my oh gosh. Man. We would all, none of us would have jobs. Right. That, nobody would have jobs. Right. No, no. <laughs> we, we, we would all be in un unemployment. What kind of nation, would we, what kind of world would we be? Like, we need to have a space for conversation, and we need to have a space for forgiveness. But we can't just jump in. I mean, and I get it. This was a business move. It was mm -hmm. Disney's protecting their money. Mm -hmm. the families look out for Disney's. It's a very family-oriented thing. But, I mean, like, like if this is the route that we're going, and I'm, I'm all for people getting called out on stuff. Like, you yeah. find one of my tweets on it, call me out. Like I'm, I'm good with it. Like we have to I'm be glad accountable. You said that because no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now let me explain. <laughs> that was ten years ago. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. Then. I've changed. That's fine. <laughs> What is the statute of limitations on tweets? Uh, bro. Asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Ask for me. Nah, man. It's just like I, I, I get it, and and I understand why Disney did it, and you know, but it's stuff like this is going to start bringing these questions that we have now. Like, okay, wh what is the statute of limitations, and how do we approach this? Do we just burn everything down every time this happens, or mm -hmm. do we ha actually have a conversation? Because when it's corporation to, to you know to employee or corporation to collaborator, you you can cut someone off like this. But when it's but James like what is James Gunn you know girlfriend or what is James Gunn's brother? You know what I mean? like yeah, like th there has to be a place where we have conversation. We got to start looking at things more as a community because that's what we are more than a corporation. You know what I mean like yeah. everybody that has to live here, anybody that was offended by something like that that he said like. We we got to start opening up to conversations. That that you know that's that's my thing on it. Yeah, I think it's fair, and it's like I said at the beginning: be careful what you're putting online these days, man. Especially mm -hmm. the way information is getting used and against you. Like I, I'm convinced, like if you have a social media account, there's no way you can be like a president or anything. Well, fuck. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, you run that back. Actually, let's, let's, <laughs> let's run that back. Cause he has like one of the worst Twitters. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe James going to be president. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe he, <laughs> he leaves directing, mm -hmm. uh, guardians and yep. he moves to being president. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm just bummed about selfishly, selfishly. I just, that's my favorite franchise. I'm, I'm yeah. I feel like it's like his, the one he wrote still. So it's still same script. Cause they're in process. Aren't they? He got the yeah, first draft injury. done a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, but then, whether they're going to keep that because then they have to give writing credit to James Gunn. Do they want to do that? Do they right. want him involved at all? True. Oh, dude. Yeah, they might rewrite so the whole thing. Well, yeah, because the, yeah, you, you think about that too. You rewrite the whole thing. Is it going to be cohesive? Mm -hmm. Is it going to match the other ones? Yeah. And then it's like right at the end, everything's coming together. It's ending. And he's been at this, you know, for years. Like mm -hmm. when the Guardians One come out, like few, like 
2013, 2012? Yeah, so five years he's been in this, like, 18-year franchise. Yeah. And, like, he's a part of it. It's Comic-Con like, right uh, now. Like, I'm yeah. sure he had panels. He had panels. You know? yep. Oh, he canceled his Sony appearance because Sony was like, yeah, let's not do this. He was yep. about to announce a new project that he was doing with them. Mm-hmm. Oh, Hall man. H. This doesn't sound like... It, it makes sense for, like, the the Me Too, you know, stuff like the Louis C.K. when it's something that's, like, active and not yeah. known. But when it's something that people knew about this, it wasn't hidden, and then he'd atoned and said sorry and, you know... Yeah. Made up for it. How many times can you do that? Like, if he had deleted the tweets, then could this have maybe not been a problem unless they like d- dug into, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. the yeah. deep side of the internet. But you definitely got to hire a tweet cleaner. Like, that, I think that might be one of the other lessons. Oh, there are yeah. mass celebrity tweet deletions going on. Oh, right absolutely. Now. As oh, we yeah. speak, like, mm-hmm. yeah, like servers are being like offloaded yeah. right yeah. now <laughs> <laughs> like, with like sacrilegious uh, tweets. And just, uh, just Twitter tell- headquarters is like, why do we have so much space on the yeah. servers all of a sudden? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, James we Gunn. Have terabytes <laughs> of data now. <laughs> it's the gun effect. The gun effect. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, Curtis, man. how did you do in the tournament, man? What was how your, did I do in the tournament? What was your dream? I don't think you made it out of groups, homie. What happened? Oh man, I did better than the Aquaman Man trailer, but we'll talk about that. <laughs> <later>. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh... <laughs> wait, what? I don't remember having Haterade as one of the drinks out there, man. Uh, bro, oh, what well, happened? that's because I drank it all before everybody else had it. <laughs> how about how about you say one one positive thing now, and then we'll get into more negative. So your hair looks nice. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> You won me over. All right, let's get into this Aquaman trailer. What did you like with that? Uh, what did I like or what didn't I like? What didn't you like? What did uh, Everything except for Black Manta. Is it just because it wasn't what you're used to or do you just thought it was bad? No, okay, well, excuse me. Everything except for Black Manta and Jason Momoa. Everything else was, was whack. Even uh, even Homegirl, who I, I usually like her. Man, what's her name? I know her real name. In, in the com- Well, her real name. I know her <laughs> comic book name is Mira. Mira. <laughs> yeah, but what's her name? I don't know who plays her. Dang it. It's John... Uh, Come on, it's Johnny Depp's, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know her name, but I, I know who. I know who it is. It's Chamber Amber Heard. Thank Amber you, Heard. Chad. Yes. Duty Pants McGee. Much love to you. Yeah, uh, Amber Heard. Duty, Duty Pants <laughs> McGee coming in with the clutch. <laughs> with, the, with that clutch I love shot. the internet. See, this guy can never host uh, direct a Marvel movie. Yeah. <laughs> It'll come out. Duty Pants McGee. Duty. Duty Pants real, McGee. real classy. Hey, Disney what, would like to announce that they're officially cutting ties with Duty, Duty Pants McGee. <laughs> What if that was his government name, though? They, they just got to eat that all right? I got to deal with that. Anyway, no, nah, I mean, it, it, it's it, – I just I, – like, I didn't like the way that it that it looked. Um, I didn't I didn't like the writing in it and the lines that they had. I, I did like how they did open up the world, a lot of the white shots, making it immersive and stuff like that. But, um, but like – like character wise, like everything that they show that they showed that had anything to do with like even the motivation. Oh, like oh, okay, yeah, you gotta like now that so and so is taken over, you, you know, like you gotta come back and you gotta be king again. And yeah. It's just like this is Black Panther, except he like didn't almost die. Like, <laughs> like, what, 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 like what are we doing right now? Oh, it is. Yeah, oh, bro. Man, I didn't even... <laughs> I'm thinking about that scene underwater. Yeah. You throw him off the cliff, he just kind of floats there. Like, bro, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. You, you throw him off the cliff, and then he gets on dry land. And yeah. Like, but, Does that well, mean he's just flopping around up there? Yeah, yeah. like a fish out of water. Yeah. I'll be here all night, people. Yeah. But, but, uh, but I, I think you're yeah. hating a little too hard, man. L- That's what, good. That's say good. some things you liked about it. There has to be something. I said them already. I, Momoa, but what? what I like Momoa. Detail. Specifically, he was most of the trailer. So if you liked him, how could you not like the trailer? No, no, no. See, I like Photoshop it. Cut him out and everything that's behind him, I didn't like. I didn't okay. like the scenes. I didn't like the okay. lines. I literally just like the fact that he's like, you know, like, like a point break. You know what I mean? Like he's the Thor of the ocean. <laughs> like Thor tell me he's not of the ocean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that that, that was my whole thing. I, I mean, and I, and I get. I mean, like you know, anybody who's rocking with it, rock with what you rock with. But I'm sorry, they're not getting my money for that. Mm. They're not getting my money for that. Like I got, they got to do better. I got movie pass, so I'll probably go see them. Hey, put me on your app <laughs> one if you got free one. I, you know, if I ain't got to pay for it, I might give it my time. But I can't get out my money. There you go. I can't get my money. Okay, well, since we're just going back through and, and getting the negative version of everything we'd <laughs> mm-hmm. said before, yeah. Shazam. Shaz- oh, bruh. Oh, no. Bruh. <laughs> I didn't like nothing. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> man. <laughs> I love this because now in the first half of the show they get to hear like the positives mm-hmm. and now they get to hear the negatives. Yeah. And then now every listener is going to have a distinct difference of opinion. That make it fair opinion. and balanced. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Per- 
as everything should be. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn, we got a Thanos on this room. <laughs> Dread it. <laughs> so, Run from it. I'm curious to see Shazam, actually, because the director is the guy who did Lights Out, and then he did Annabelle Creation. So he's done a mm-hmm. bunch of horror, and he, yeah. he and his wife do a whole bunch of horror shorts. Nice. And now he's directing this giant DC superhero movie. Mm-hmm. So I'm really curious to see how that one turns out yeah. at the end of it, even though prior to this I hadn't heard of him at all. Yeah, and I, and I, I like I really I like Captain Marvel, aka Shazam, as a character and like the lore and Black Adam. Like I I did everything is I didn't love the Marvel family. I know most people do, but I didn't. But I like I I really like the character. So. From, and, I, and I actually like uh, the Zachary Levi casting. I think he was cast perfectly. Yeah. But I don't know if y'all saw pictures of him without the suit on. Homeboy is hub. Like, he's <laughs> Jack Johnson. Like, he's, like, Jack the Ripper. Like he, <laughs> So when they put, like, so I was like, oh, man, he's already hub. Like, this is perfect. Like, he's going to fill out the suit. Like, it's going to yeah. look good. Yeah. And then I saw, like, what he looked like in the suit. And I was like, why did they give, like, even Cavill is already, like, hub rock And yeah. they still put a little extra on the Superman suit. Right. But, dude, they padded that thing, too. I mean, it looked like, remember, like, when we wanted to be superheroes and we used to take, like, the bed sheet oh, and yeah, pin yeah. it on us as a cape? <laughs> and then we take the pillows and put it under our shirt, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and, like, have the big chest? Oh, yeah. That's what they did to him. And I'm like, dog, that's too much. Because <laughs> his head's all small. It, it, it literally this. looked like his neck was, like, it, like in Avengers where, like. I was literally going to say, at the end, when yeah, you yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hulk and the Hulk, or Banner, the Banner, the Hulk, the Hulk, the Hulk yeah. Buster. That's what it looked like, Billy Batson. It's like Billy Batson in the in the Shazam armor. I'm like, bruh, stop this, DC. I like y'all. I like your comics. What are you doing? I want to see a side by side of him and uh, Superman now. That was Bro, a good comparison yeah. because, yeah. like, in yeah. the in yeah. the comics, they are equally like sized yeah, and exactly. jacked, right? Yeah. yeah. And this is like a leaner Superman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So seeing this fake padded up Shazam yeah. with, you know, what they've showed us as the archetype of the power hero. Yeah. Right. But what about everything else? The comedy side, the... the Comedy side, it was okay. It wasn't, like, great. It was cool. Like, I didn't, I didn't like, hate it, but I was like, okay, yeah, I get it. Like, millennial jokes. Cool. <laughs> What's a millennial joke? <laughs> he says millennial jokes. Millennial jokes. Okay. That was it, man. That's, uh, I mean, oh gosh. I mean, I literally, I'm not even, look like, I like old school Godzilla. Godzilla. I like old school one. Mm-hmm. And, like, I watched, uh, with Eddie from Philosoph- Philosophers, I watched the Godzilla trailer. Oh, yeah. And that was, like, my favorite trailer that I had seen of all the ones that got released so far. Yeah, like, that's what David yeah, said. That's too. what David was saying, yeah. yeah. No, it's like, it, yeah, oh, yeah, because, well, he, I don't, he didn't watch it with us, but, yeah, no, it's like, like, the story is dumb. Like, wh- like why... They why the monsters have to come back is just dumb. What why do they say the monsters have to come back? Be, be, because if they don't, there's not going to be any world left. Wait, what? But they don't say why the world is ending though. They're just saying it is. Huh? Yeah, it it, it looks like um what was that movie with uh, Keanu Reeves like the where, where like the world was ending and it was all storming uh, the, and dusting. The day the earth stood still. Yes, that it, one? It, okay. it, it looked like it was like the world was ending in that way where it's like a bunch of dust and all that stuff. And, oh like, yeah, things okay. Were being consumed. But like, but the monsters are the reason, like that the world is gonna be saved because the monsters come back. Yeah, I mean, it's I don't, balance. Surprise Everything's twist. Balanced. Perfectly, yeah. perfectly <laughs> balanced. Like all things. Are, <laughs> personally, it just looks like Godzilla is gonna be battling global warming. And if that makes sense to people, then this might be the movie for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I did see Al Gore as executive producer. So. Oh, he, oh you didn't see, yeah, his name was right there. Right? Yeah. Did you see it? Absolutely. All those crazy monster movies, though, they have to come up with some crazy stuff. Like, even oh, yeah. even Kong, like, the justification to get people to that island. Oh, and I yeah. don't know. They, they, those are, if we're going to critique the story of monster it's movies, true. we're <laughs> in the wrong business. <laughs> Yeah, that's valid. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got to critique them, but hey. I'm gonna call them what they are. It was gar- that was so garbage, legitimate think, pieces like- of art. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> I feel like the one that made the most sense was the Matthew Broderick uh, Godzilla, where it was mm, it was basically a lizard who got exposed to nuclear like testing. Yeah, mm-hmm. Ninja and I was Turtles. Like, yeah, Ninja yeah, Turtles. yeah, basically. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes. I mean, I could wrap my head around it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with it. Uh, so in the esports world, uh, we're all familiar with battle royale games. It's crazy. Like they're trying to make the battle royale ri- royale games esports, right? Mm-hmm. So Keemstar, the YouTube guy from Drama Alert, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. started doing Friday Fortnite and putting up big amounts of cash, like the max that Epic would let him. Okay, because you have to go to the publisher and get permission to do these, which he did with Epic, and they capped him at like twenty k. Okay, and so he's doing. 
tournaments basically out of his own pocket. You know, Ninja's a part of them. They're getting crazy viewership. It's so grassroots. It's amazing. They've done a yeah. good job. They came up with their own rule system. So basically, uh, they do squads of four. Okay. And then, the, but they're two teams. So they're technically on the same team, but they're not, right? Okay. And they whoever gets the most kills, in it, they just drop into a rando match. Okay. And both teams try and get as many kills as possible, and whoever gets the most in two or three games wins. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay. So it's not a controlled match. It's just a pub. Yeah. It's a pub. You know, they decide on a server based off where they're at, and yeah. then they just try and farm as many kills as possible. Okay. okay. It's, that's the format. It's been great. Uh they tried to do Epic themselves came out and they're going to say we're giving away eight million dollars in eight weeks or you know yeah. something oh, yeah, crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. thing, and the first one was supposed to be their their thing was they were going to do ten maps, mm -hmm. ten drops on a private server so everybody on that server is a killer like mm -hmm. a beast, okay. and if you win two like you win or something and. Other than that, it's like a point system based off your ranking and kills. Okay. So they had like some convoluted system. After map three, they canned it because of server issues. Oh, They're dang. actually having physical like glitches and things like dang. they canceled the event and postponed it. And meanwhile, in the same week, Realm Royale, our friends at high res yeah. did a thing amazing. Really? So good. Yeah, they, they came up with a better tournament system uh -huh. where uh there's, uh, they didn't have any server pro problems. Like mm. it was you, so you could tune into anybody's stream. Like yeah. I was watching Defran, who's a former Overwatch guy, got a lifetime ban. I, I don't know if he's still banned, but he's a controversial guy. Yeah. But his aim is nutty. So he's playing, and they did a duos thing, and then you can watch over to Ninja, and you could see them clash course, and then High Res had their own with like real casters that they took from Smite with top tier production quality. Yeah. And it was amazing to watch. Uh, it got great reviews. The viewership was, again, insane. And Epic, again, just dropping the ball on the same thing. You think uh, Rum Royale is going to be the one to knock down Fortnite from the top? If anything is going to, I think it's got to be that one. Yeah. Just because of, like, how well they're doing in the, the eSports zone. Yeah. Because, like... Just like basketball, football, like we watch them because we want to know who the best is. Right, yeah. In these Battle Royale games where uh, – because Fortnite, they didn't even actually fix it. Like what they did is for the next week, they had all these invitational people just dropping into random games with random people. Oh, so like Keemstar. Sort of, yeah, yeah, but it was solos. Okay. So it was like just a pub stomp. Like you're just going in there and stomping newbies. And you can't find out who's the best. No. I want a controlled environment <laughs> with Ninja and King Richard and Svenos and yeah, all the guys. It's, it's yeah. like Major League Baseball teams playing their single A team and saying, oh, yeah, we won. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know those yeah. dudes right out of high school? Right. Sure. Whooped them up. It just, I don't know, man. It wasn't cool. Uh, and then, to boot, like, Keemstar had another Friday Fortnite completely scheduled. And Epic, like, on you know, he had players and everything epic with very short notice just jumped on that day invited all of his players and everything and keemstar was like well all right i'm canceling my event because they capped me at 20k and theirs is 100 so of course i'm not gonna hold the dudes back i'm gonna yeah. let him go play there but maybe a little heads up next time or Dang. work with me instead of against yeah. me realm royale was calling it keemstar's realm royale invitational and like partnered with him and you know it was a master okay. class in how to do it right yeah High res I feel like high res usually does things right. Like, I love high res Yeah, they're a good developer. Um, well that's the ending music. Was that everybody? Is that everybody out there? Uh, that was everybody. Cool? Everybody, man. Everybody. Well, thanks guys for uh hanging out, you know, humoring me with the little esports tournament. I hope you guys all had fun. Uh Web, glad to have you back. Yeah. What were you doing, man? You say you playing No Man's Sky and shit? Like, you can actually, like... <laughs> yeah, I got curious. Like, we see a lot of No Man's Sky news, so I was like, well, I'm going to hop on and see what it's like. Uh, very little's changed. There's some content there now. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I played a little bit of Overwatch. Uh, got back into Halo. Hmm. Uh, been all over. Good. Good, man. You look you look healthy. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Healthier. Healthier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're not dead, so. I'm not dead, so there's. <laughs> a little worried yeah, earlier. It's a bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag web's dead again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Derek, what do you got to plug these days, man? You're always doing something creative. I'm just working on music right now. So you'll have Nothing some out shortly? yet. Yep. 
You gonna get me as a guest track? I don't know, but I make theme songs. Do you? Do you yeah. make theme songs? Yeah, I make theme songs. I'll share them with you after the show. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'll take some inspiration. I like that because I, you know, we chat every once in a while, and you'll send me like what you're working on, and I get to admire real music being created, <laughs> and then I'll be like, "Hey, check this thing I did," and it's me just going doop, 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 <laughs> doop. <laughs> like, just stupid acapella. Vocal. I'm working on stuff too, Derek. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm still doing music things too, Derek. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm still doing it. music too. Yeah, he's, he's sending me operas and like rock operas and brilliant shit. Uh, all right. Well, I, when you got your stuff to plug on, uh, you're always welcome on here. And if you need uh, an acapellaist or something, or some <laughs> background vocals, I'm oh, yeah. glad to, to, to throw down. Uh, Curtis, tell them about your uh, your channels and avenues. Yeah, man. Um, Twitch.tv backslash Skipintosh. S K I P N T O S H. Um, I said I was gonna be back this week, and I've been back this week. I put in a for me, which is a lot, but I put in like a, a solid like seven hours Damn. on the stream work. Nice. So there's not, there's not enough kings to talk about. What are you What are you talking about these days? Uh, well, you know, I, there there was I can make some kings talk. So there's a little <laughs> bit of kings talk, you know what I mean? But um, mostly it was um with Smash Bros. And most of it was Smash Bros, I believe. All yeah, right. I was just getting it in. You know what I'm saying? Just waiting for that ultimate. You know, get my down throw to forward smash with Mario. Dude, we're going yeah. we to gotta lab that up, dude. Bro, I, I, I want to be down. good at ultimate. I really do. Man. I want to go to, like, tournaments and stuff. Bro, if you want to be good at ultimate, don't call me. Call me. I'm going to screw you up, man. You don't want to play with me. Uh, anyway. I, I got love for Nairo, but I don't think he got that much time to train someone who's brand new uh, but well <laughs> you know you, you got an ace in your pocket it is your birthday oh yeah Cash your birthday old. wish <laughs> Nairo do you know what I want for my birthday <laughs> <laughs> will you train me <laughs> no man I can't do that my, my pride uh, yeah. Webb what's your stream schedule look like lately uh, it's kind of all over the place right now uh, lately it's been mainly just Friday nights I'll jump on and play uh, and it's like variety it varies from from week to week yeah. I've been catching you a few times yeah a few times yeah yeah, yeah. Like, you yeah, popped man. in there yeah <laughs> uh, probably pretty soon we're gonna be jumping on um, uh, Sea of Thieves the okay. new, the oh new the expansion expansion coming so, out oh man we didn't talk about it in the news but like you're gonna be able to I think do like Cruise of Eight kind of yeah that's what you were okay yeah, yeah. that's what you were telling me and yeah. then they're also introducing like actual ghost ships oh. ran by skeletons yeah we gotta okay. save something for Wednesday yeah so mm -hmm. we'll talk about that more on Wednesday but yeah Web Slinger 1 right yeah twitch.tv slash Web Slinger 1 to catch his streams throughout the week and always right here on VGB dot com vgb studios dot com uh thank you guys so much for listening to the show week in and week out uh don't forget if you're listening to this on your iphone and you just haven't done it yet get that five star rating going we could use as many of those bad boys as we can get so more people will learn the show and then uh you know we can maybe get some of those sponsorships and then the show can get watered down with ads and that's what you guys want in the end to know that we're rich <laughs> <laughs> for david webb Derek Voss, Curtis Fisher, my name is Corey, saying you've just been banged.